Common Recruiting Myths, Part 1. My name is Joel Algie. I've been in recruiting for coming up to a decade. I run a number of recruiting podcasts where I interview both agency leaders and internal talent leaders. I also engage all the time on LinkedIn and have a following of over 100,000, and I'm also active on Twitter. So I am basically talking about recruiting with everybody all day. But there are a lot of myths out there about recruiting, so I'm going to clear some of these up in this series. So a very common misconception and something that career coaches talk a lot about is the ATS. Now the ATS is the Applicant Tracking System. It's very similar to a CRM if you're in sales, which is a Customer Relationship Management Tool. But essentially it allows recruiters to track applications as they come in, track the uh, movement of candidates as they go through the hiring process, and it also allows them to monitor and build up a database of people that they've interviewed, people who are interested, who have indicated that through application, and hopefully market to them so in the future if things change or if another position opens up, they're very easily accessible and they can reach these candidates. But the lie that's out there is that somehow the ATS is uh, a computer program that is essentially screening out people based on what they have on their resume, and that is just not true. So on the other end of this ATS is actually a human being, a recruiter. And what the recruiter is going to do, they may use keywords to search for skills, they may filter out based on whether or not they need a degree, or if it's a hybrid or in-office role, they might use location to screen people out, but it is a human being. A lot of career coaches will sell a program that teaches you how to hack the ATS or use certain keywords to get through the ATS. The only problem with that logic is, if you get through the ATS, then you actually just get through to a recruiter, a human being. And what they're going to do is they're going to look at your resume logically, they're going to look at the companies you worked at, and then they're also going to cross-reference that with other tools like LinkedIn. So in theory, you could stuff your resume with keywords or even lie, let's say, but at the end of the day, the recruiter is going to be able to sniff that out. They're still going to look you up on LinkedIn, they're going to look you up, they're going to do some research, and then they're still going to make a decision on whether or not you get through to the hiring manager. It's not like an ATS just spits out random people to the hiring manager based on just keywords. That just wouldn't work. Next time you hear a career coach talking about the ATS like a robot or it's like some computer that's out to get you, don't listen to a word they say because it's just not true.